Yeah, hi guys, welcome and good morning to today's products and focus. US 30 there has a rebound strongly after yesterday's uh, sell off hitting potential support at 16,969 and has now reached again at 17,045. Technical indicators are slowly flattening out as you get close to being uh, overbought, but the signal to sell has uh, not yet been, been given. So we're slowly grinding a little bit higher, and uh, yesterday's formation was quite comfortably another hammer formation as well. So um, obviously getting this at the top of an uptrend is kind of interesting, uh, so the market is not quite petering out as of yet, as of thought. So the UK 100 has recovered as well, very similar uh, kind of formation to what we just saw on the US 30. And uh, we've now got a bullish engulfing pattern coming in there just now. And we're reaching potential resistance at 6774. Um, that is also bouncing around the 21 period SMA. So moving quickly on to the Japan 225. And as you'll be able to see there, dollar yen has kind of reversed course a little bit. So the yen has, uh, has lost a little bit of its momentum. Dollars back in the game, and we are coming up quite close to potential resistance at 15,488. This is also hitting the 21 period SMA as well, uh, but it looks a little bit top heavy. We're making a series of lower highs right here, so you've got a high, a lower high, and a lower high again. So then moving on to dollar yen, um, dollar yen has uh, has broken through potential resistance at 101 spot 35. Again, similar formation there. This is quite positive at the bottom end of the downtrend. It uh, was much more negative, struggling to break above 101 spot 35, but managed to do it yesterday. And again, that 21 period SMA is still firmly in play uh, this morning. So looking at West Texas crude, uh, it is completely reversed course again, went in completely opposite direction as fresh fighting was breaking out in that uh, rebel held town where the Malaysian plane uh, went down. Um, 105 uh, is where the potential short term uh, resistance is. And we bounced off 103 perfectly uh, yesterday and uh, a complete reversal um, right up to this top level right here. But as you can see there, we've stopped dead in the tracks. Um, any reversal, we could see 103 again. Any break even higher than that, we do have crude oil inventory data due tomorrow. Uh, and that could open up a, a move all the way back up to 107 spot 90 for West Texas crude. So this is certainly uh, a commodity to watch uh, during today's session as well. So moving on to uh, moving on to gold, uh, gold had kind of reversed track ever so slightly. Um, obviously, if that the dollar moves are in play, that's taking the shine of gold a little bit. Um, you know, obviously yen has kind of come off, so safe havens are kind of on the back foot a little bit. Um, Obviously, when you've got growth stocks and a lot of the uh, US earnings season still in play, Netflix uh, marginally beating estimates last night. And obviously, you've got Apple later on today. Risk does seem to be back on the table to a certain degree. And I guess going back on the crude oil, that's more maybe a growth play uh, rather than an actual um, worry about supply aspects in the Middle East and everything else. Although Gaza and um, you know Iraq is still very much on, on, ongoing. Uh, the move we're seeing in crude oil is actually quite quite interesting. So that's definitely one to have a look at. So your dollar drifting again, uh, one spot 35.00 looks to be the short term potential support. Um, a whole bunch of volatility yesterday uh, as dollar wrestles control from the euro. And finishing up there with GBP USD, uh, it is still drifting again. You know, a little bit of dollar strength coming into play. Looks to be one spot at uh, seventy forty eight is where this is going to settle. Uh, that's the potential support level, and uh, we're approaching there ever so slightly slow grind lower. So in regards to uh, economic data, um, I need to make sure we got the right day selected. That's me on the twenty third. Um, we've got UK public finance data due uh, at nine thirty followed by US CPI, which will be good if you're a cable trader. Um, and also that might help support the UK 100, the public finance day earlier on. And when we go on to Wednesday, as you've got Bank of England data there and you've got those crude oil inventories. In fact, I need to make sure I set my alarm for that. And I need to set my alarm for this one too, um, just, just to see what comes out of the mix. Uh, but cable could be very interesting. Uh, West Texas crude is probably the most interesting thing that I've seen so far today. And uh, you know the US there is slowly moving a little bit higher. Um, just to finish up, let's have a look at the client sentiment. So looking at the client sentiment data right here, as you can see, US 30, 87% short, UK 100, 72% short, Germany 30, 61% long. So a little bit of a divergence there between some of the European markets and the US. And um, Euro dollar almost swinging into, well, it's actually a net long position now with 62% 
uh, net long. Well, GBP USD is firmly uh, quite bearish, obviously at these high levels with 85% net short. And uh, join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.